This evening we have uh, the Kenya Simba's team manager Wangila Simiu uh, to talk us more about um, tomorrow's match where uh, Kenya Simba's is going to host Hong Kong in one of the two uh, test matches. Mr. Wangila, welcome to Capital FM. Uh, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow's match, how is it important for us bearing in mind that it's a journey for us to go for the 2019 World Cup and also we missed it by a whisker in 2015. So the Kenyans are very eager uh, for that historic moment for us to pray for the World Cup for the first time ever. It's, it's, it's quite a big honor for yeah. uh, uh, World Rugby yeah. to honor the National Simba team mm -hmm. with two test games mm -hmm. this coming two weekends. Mm -hmm. um, remember, mm -hmm. we've actually learned a lot of lessons yes. from last year, but one, one point mm -hmm. missing to go to the World Cup yeah. by one point yes. was the biggest mm -hmm. pain mm -hmm. that this team undergo has undergone. Mm -hmm. So we've not looked at it as... Um, as, as um, as a, as a mistake. No. The lessons learned is very simple. Mm -hmm. If you want to play among the best, mm -hmm. then be mm -hmm. a knock mm -hmm. on the best. Mm -hmm. and that is why we are playing German. Mm -hmm. Last year we played um, Spain. Mm -hmm. We beat Spain. Mm -hmm. We beat Portugal. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we get now to the 2019 uh, World Cup uh, qualifiers and win mm -hmm. and be in the World Cup? Yes. We started with Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. We started with German. Mm -hmm. Who helped us prepare for the Gold Cup? Mm -hmm. We've come number two mm -hmm. in Africa Gold Cup. Mm -hmm. We won mm -hmm. the Elgon Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time now, after this weekend, mm -hmm. that is after tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, we play now the same Hong Kong next mm -hmm. weekend on 26th mm -hmm. at Kenya Rugby Football Union Grounds. Mm -hmm. Then we've been honored again by the World Rugby. Mm -hmm. but we are in the four nations. Yes. We travel to from 9th mm -hmm. to 19th of uh, November mm -hmm. to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. We play German, I mean, um, uh, not German. Mm -hmm. We play Russia, mm -hmm. who are ranked 21st. Mm -hmm. We play Chile, mm -hmm. who are ranked 28th. Mm -hmm. We play also Hong Kong mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. Yes. So remember, mm -hmm. we're actually polishing the team mm -hmm. and preparing the team mm -hmm. for the World Cup mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. And without playing high-level test games, mm -hmm. you cannot test yourself among the best. Mm -hmm. And that is why you are saying we are mixing the team, mm -hmm. uh, we are blending the team, the youth, mm -hmm. Uh, and also the experienced players, so that we have the right chemistry mm -hmm. at the right time. Mm -hmm. uh, I must credit the Kenya Rugby Football Union mm -hmm. and our sponsors, uh, that is Sports Pesa, mm -hmm. for coming on board mm -hmm. to give us support mm -hmm. and to give the team that moral boosting mm -hmm. to make sure that we achieve our dream. Mm -hmm. It's all about preparations. Mm -hmm. The earlier you prepare, with good facilities, yes. with good motivation to the players, mm -hmm. definitely the flag of Kenya mm -hmm. will fly mm -hmm. at the World Cup. Yeah. They we're going to see tomorrow um, the non-regular starters going to start. Um, and of course, uh, those seasonal players starting from the bench. Maybe what necessitated for the Kenya uh, Rugby Union, uh, for the Kenya Simba's technical bench to make those changes? Uh, these players have been um, in the team mm -hmm. on the wider scale. Yes. We have a team of 40 players. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these regulars have not had air time actually to play yeah. at high level. Yes. Um, how do you test them? Mm -hmm. How do you give somebody, uh, you say he's playing for the national team and you've not tested him well. Mm -hmm. Give them a chance mm -hmm. and the chance is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They have to prove themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's about competition, it's about merit mm -hmm. and it's about hard work. Mm -hmm. um, these boys down at their clubs, mm -hmm. the clubs have also produced good players. Mm -hmm. Clubs will feel very happy mm -hmm. when they train and produce good players. Mm -hmm. And these good players are tested at a high level, mm -hmm. like a test game like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. These players now, are going to be tested tomorrow mm -hmm. and the clubs will be quite say yes, yes we have developed something mm -hmm. our job is to develop depth mm -hmm. not only look at 2019 mm -hmm. world cup mm -hmm. we are looking beyond 2019 mm -hmm. and to have continuity mm -hmm. after us mm -hmm. other guys can continue mm -hmm. with a better job mm -hmm. because it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. to mold and polish an international player. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've seen teams coming up very well in this past um, uh, Gold Cup where we finished second. The teams like uh, our neighbours, uh, Uganda, they gave us a run for our money where we drew 33-33. Th are, are they giving us that threat um, going forward for the next season? Also, uh, Tunisia? Um, let me tell you, in this life, yeah. never underrate anybody. Mm -hmm. We we respect Uganda, mm -hmm. and Uganda, after we gave them a big thrashing mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. went back on the drawing board. Mm -hmm. They got uh, technical support from South Africa. Mm -hmm. They got into programs mm -hmm. that Kenya today is doing. Mm -hmm. Then, what did they do? Mm -hmm. They brought some of their players to play in the Kenyan League. Mm -hmm. Now, that is why you're seeing mm -hmm. Uganda has yeah. woken up. Yes. They want it as much as we want it. Mm -hmm. You look at Namibia. Mm -hmm. Why is Namibia performing well? Mm -hmm. 
most of their players are playing where? Mm -hmm. They are playing in the South African uh, leagues. Mm -hmm. uh, they play in Curry Cup, mm -hmm. they are in uh, South African clubs. Mm -hmm. And when you now bring those players together, uh, technical benches have an easier time mm -hmm. to harness mm -hmm. and, and prepare those teams. Mm -hmm. But what happens to our Kenyan players, they are locally based. Mm -hmm. So what I'm telling you is we need to prepare early. Mm -hmm. And we need technical support, mm -hmm. we need financial support, we need facilities mm -hmm. support. And this is why I say uh, Ministry of Sports yeah. needs to come on board. Mm -hmm. A team is about how and when you begin preparations. Mm -hmm. Preparations are very important for national sides. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm appealing to the Minister of Sports to say, come on board. Mm -hmm. Be part of the action at the preparation stage. Mm -hmm. Let's not be omit the team mm -hmm. when it has succeeded mm -hmm. and say this is a no. The national anthem is all that matters out there. Mm -hmm. When we prepare well and you walk with us with this journey, we are able to say thank you because of the hard work we've all put in. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 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 this is where sponsors like Sports Pesa mm -hmm. come in, mm -hmm. motivating the boys, mm -hmm. paying, make sure the allowances of the team are on time, mm -hmm. make sure technical benches have been taken care of, mm -hmm. making sure the federation like um, Kenya Rugby Football Union, mm -hmm. the administrative costs have been met, mm -hmm. salaries have been met, mm -hmm. and this is where we see growth. Mm -hmm. And this is how our clubs will also mm -hmm. be, get attraction from sponsors who will come to sponsor clubs, then the national team now with a bigger structure will grow. Mm -hmm. And better players will be found and harnessed. Yeah. Yeah. The big question that I know everybody will be asking is, will we ever find a formula to beat and stop uh, Namibia and reclaim that title that we won in 2013? Will we ever find <laughs> that formula? The formula is there. <laughs> the preparation begins tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that is the formula. Mm -hmm. How you prepare. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we want more sponsors to come on board. Mm -hmm come on board mm -hmm. and be part of this journey. Mm -hmm. Be part of this journey for our young men because how do we develop youth? Mm -hmm. We talk about youth development. Mm -hmm. Through sports, mm -hmm. we'll have less crimes. Mm -hmm. Through sports, we'll have a nation mm -hmm. that knows what it takes mm -hmm. to be at the top there. Mm -hmm. Through sports, mm -hmm. friendships are formed. Through sports, uh, uh, um, the job market mm -hmm. or an um, unemployment market mm -hmm. reduces. Mm -hmm. And that is why I say, is let's invest in our youth through sports mm -hmm. because it's now employment. Yeah. It's now actually professions. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's so much overdue for Kenya mm -hmm. uh, 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 not to be professional because who are we playing with tomorrow? Hong Kong. Professionals. Yes. From 8 to 5, that is his job. When we play Spain, those are professionals. What about Kenya? A player wakes up at 5, mm -hmm. that is what we do. Mm -hmm. At 5 a.m. we are at Kenya Rugby Union. Mm -hmm. We train up to about uh, 7.30. Mm -hmm. We have our nutrition program. Mm -hmm. After that, 8.30, everybody goes to work. We encourage our boys to go to universities, to colleges and what. And then we meet again the same day from 6.30 to 8. Mm -hmm. Look at the schedule of that player. He has something else on the side to run. What if this talent, we said, we are going professional? Pay the players well, pay the technical bench well, and then concentrate on rugby. This is a country that has full of talent mm. that is unexploited. Let's exploit that. And it can only come about because these ambassadors, when that national anthem of Kenya is sung out there, it's not sung for you. Mm. It's sung for us, mm. Kenyans, you and me. And that is why I'm saying invest in the right direction through sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, what is your message to fans uh, to, who have been very instrumental, your 16th man uh, for the team, bearing in mind that they should turn up tomorrow being on a Sunday? We have extra players on the team. Tomorrow, the 16th fan, the fan is the 16th player. Um, we appeal upon uh, uh, our fans to come on board. That is um, families, friends, workmates, please. Turn up in large numbers. Come and give us that support tomorrow and next Saturday. Uh, make sure you come and make that noise of Kenya to join our country together. To make sure Simba Moja, Kenya ni Moja, na upendo wa Kenya ni Moja. Thank you so much and we welcome you anytime to Capital FM. Well, that was uh, the Kenya Simba's team manager, Wangila Simiu, talking more about uh, the Kenya Simbas who are going to play Hong Kong tomorrow in the first of the two test series match at the RFA grounds. See you then.